So now let's go to another scene. Something that you've experienced before, which is when you were growing your body. Feel yourself growing your body to where you can grow that crystal. So begin using all of your senses and describe to me what is happening. I'm pushing myself to be bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And I'm gaining a lot of energy while I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, you can hear through your head like the, like almost like if you were to watch a crystal being made uh, mm -hmm. in front of you in, in like fast motion, because I know take centuries but just to watch something grow and within seconds in mm -hmm. front of you just the cr crystal cracking and mm -hmm. growing but it's there for a reason it's mm -hmm. uh let's find out what the power yeah. of this crystal is that you're growing it's putting something out it's it's like uh beacon it's like a it's it's I can't say it. it's uh use all of your senses it's like to it's it's huge it's uh to bring people here or it's to help something it's keep growing that like crystal it's big yeah it's keep growing it and connect with it and you will know what it is it's really powerful whatever it is it's um it's very real it's mm -hmm. um it's 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 got really important I can't put my finger on it it's mm -hmm. um I don't know well get out of the way and allow your higher self to it's touch. kind of the connection of everything it's mm -hmm. really but it's personal too I don't know why but it's uh it's, I think it's helping bring people here mm -hmm. so let's connect with your higher self let me ask your higher self what is the crystal all about what is that crystal doing is there something being transmitted from it I think so mm -hmm. so explain to Dan how that crystal works how does that crystal work What's the power that it has? I don't know. It's Keep growing that crystal. It connects, it connects things. Mm -hmm. Don't normally connect. All right, so let's find out why at this time Dan came here with this power of connecting the crystals. It connects the, the two worlds together. Mm -hmm. So what world is Dan from? Home. Mm -hmm. And in, when he's in this home place, does he have any role to play there? Oh, yeah. Yeah? What's he do there? He seems to have. He's always there. He's always been there. Um, is Dan halfway between home and here? Is that what it is? I don't know. 
Um, Give him the pictures. He's he watches everything mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say he watches everything from the beginning, is he a creator being? He's watched things be created. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what is his responsibility? I've heard about the watchers, people who watch. Is he one of them? Yeah. Mm hmm. So, what does he do? He helps things. Mm hmm. Can you tell him more about that? What does he help do? Makes things happen. Mm -hmm. He says he has powers to do things, but he doesn't know how to use it. Is this something from his planet? Or is it a planet? It's not a planet, it's the beginning. It's the beginning. So can you explain to him what role he had to play in the beginning. He watched it happen. Um, uh, Are we talking about everything or just Earth? Everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. Most of us have. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this. It seems to be something that is very important for him to remember at this time. I don't know how it connects to now. Mm-hmm. What's happening now that he has chosen to be here? I'm trying to find out why. It's a lot coming through. Mm -hmm. Is this stuff that's coming through good or bad? Oh, it's it doesn't matter. It doesn't it's, matter. No good or bad. It just mm -hmm. is. It just is. What kind of stuff is coming through right now? Energy. Mm -hmm. Where is that energy coming from? Home. Mm -hmm. And what is that energy doing? How is it affecting everything? This is the only reason any of this exists. But mm -hmm. Can you pinpoint for him what this energy is doing, for example, to the Earth? We're stepping into a new place. Mm -hmm. That's what Earth is. And stepping into a new place? Yes. What kind of place? It's a place to go where we can't... We do things at the same time. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what that means? Doing things at the same time? As we grow here, we grow home too. Mm -hmm. So... Whatever we do here, we reflect the all? Correct, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Okay. Has this but not happened before? It's new. Um, definitely on other planets and stuff, but this is this is new. Mm -hmm. It's a way for us to come over here. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's like a new... A new place for us, mm -hmm. but we're supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. How is this new place going to look or feel? We're trying to make it like home, mm -hmm. but we're had to evolve these 
these bodies. Mm-hmm. How are we evolving the bodies? It's mind over matter, mm-hmm. but we have to understand we're here. And you'll grow, we'll grow, and we'll grow past this phase we're in. Mm-hmm. Is the body going to feel something different as this energy is transmitted to us? Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. What kind of things are we going to feel in our bodies? I think we'll we'll evolve to go other places in this place, mm-hmm. space, other planets, meet with us in other places. Mm-hmm. Will we be doing that in our body with our own body? Mm-hmm. With with the physical bodies. Yeah. With the physical bodies. So, if for mm-hmm. example, I wanted to go to a different planet in the mm-hmm. future, I could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is just the beginning. So, how would I do that? If I had this new body, how would I be able to travel? We are combining with technology and everything around us to make it happen. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just part of us evolving next. Mm-hmm. But we need to shed a lot of this crap. Mm-hmm. How do we do that? By learning. Mm-hmm. By learning and understanding. Mm-hmm. Is there any technology now that's on Earth that we don't know about? That perhaps is already being used for this? I don't know. Mm-hmm. But we'll be able to project ourselves in the future. Oh, the future's going to be awesome, yeah. Mm-hmm. How far is this future? Not too far. We still have a lot of learning to do, though. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about within one generation or more? Probably more. Mm -hmm. So perhaps our grandchildren or great-grandchildren will be in this? Right. I think it's connecting. It's making all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, you told him that you you brought him here to give him this information. Is there any other information you would like to give him today? Be strong. Mm-hmm. Be strong. Be strong. Very good. He picked a. He picked a tough one. He picked a tough assignment. Life. Yeah. A life. Mm-hmm. Do you have any tips on how to make it even better? Get some sleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Spend time with the family. Just, just be. Very good. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> so, Dan. Yes. <laughs> you haven't watched any of my videos. No. So you had no idea what you were coming into. No, I've never, never been hypnotized, never done any of this before. So definitely interesting. So tell everybody what your experience was. Um... <laughs> I'm still reeling from it. it just happened. Um, you know, it's interesting because it's, uh, I didn't, I, I was almost fighting myself through the beginning of it. And, <laughs> fighting you know, a lot. <laughs> and not knowing to, I think it's, you know, part of your human nature to yes. fight. You know yes. what I mean? That's what we do to survive. And, mm-hmm. and you know, I, there was a certain point where your voice hit me, um, you know, and it, it it went from a calming voice to like a, a higher voice uh, above me, and I mm-hmm. could feel it as you were talking, and I think that's really where I became to what I guess is what's hypnotized, which I didn't really know what it was until <laughs> today, so thank you for that. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, interesting, very interesting. I'm, I'm still kind of a little foggy and mm-hmm. a little emotional, but uh, definitely interesting. Now, in, in this, we discovered a little bit about this uh, earth, about the earth changing and had you ever heard about anything like this before no no this concept? I've, uh, no I've heard <laughs> again I've heard it from uh, a religious person knocking on my door mm-hmm. but uh, it wasn't anything I was interested in hearing about um, no this is definitely interesting I'm actually wanting to listen to the the, the tape to see mm-hmm. everything because mm-hmm. I'm still a little blurry <laughs> but um, yeah 
Definitely interesting. And before we had this session, we were talking about uh, coming out of the spiritual closet. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of us, yeah. a lot of us, um, in, me included, for sure. Uh, I have I spent many many decades in, in a professional field, mm -hmm. uh, not wanting to say anything about my spirituality. Yes. And I was kind of forced to, so I'm out mm -hmm. of the closet now. So how does it feel now that Oof. that you are now? It, experiencing that you are something besides this human being here. Right. <laughs> well, it feels good because I, I knew there was stuff there, just, mm -hmm. you know, everything that we talked about. You yeah. know, I've seen seen a lot of stuff. And, um, you know, I think it's with having a career and having a day-to-day -day life and now having to maybe step outside of that to explore this more, it's, it's scary. <laughs> but, you know, I think that that's a lot of the reason I came here too is to get answers. And, yeah. and I think I got some of those, you know, as far as opening up and you know, maybe sharing mm -hmm. some of these things. So yeah. let's, let's kind of see where it goes from here. I, I'm, I'm excited. So, Good. So what yeah. would you like to tell other parents, for example, that have children that are seeing things? Okay, yeah, this one's deep for me. I, You know, this started for me very young, um, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's something that you're scared of, but at the same time you might think that you're crazy because, you know, your friends aren't seeing the same thing that you are or, mm -hmm. you know, your your parents may not understand why you've been up all night and haven't slept for days in a row and stuff like that. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would like to, to reach out to the, the kids that are going through this and, and seeing things that it's, it's okay. They're not there to hurt you. Um, things may visit you and it's okay. Um, but I think there needs to be more. Mm -hmm. um, out there more places parents can go to if they know it's happening or even children you know mm -hmm. I, I had no idea um, what was going on or you know I was scared to death for years and uh, to have an outlet or to speak to somebody that's been through it I think would help a mm -hmm. lot so eventually I would love to do something to help mm -hmm. the kids or maybe reach out to the parents and teach them a little bit that it's, it's okay. Well what would you tell a parent for example that their child is constantly telling them this is an example. You're not my real family. Or I see things that are come. There's an old lady in the rocking chair right. in my room. Well, a lot of people go to, to, to their faith and they, they go to um, praying, you know, pray, pray about it, pray about it. That, being through that doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> you, it, praying doesn't do anything. You, you need to start understanding it. it, it um, first of all, letting somebody else telling you that it, it, nothing's there to hurt you. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. um, also, learning the tools that you can push it away. If you're not feeling like you're ready for that yet, there's there's exercises you can do to really you know, push mm -hmm. these things away for a little while, you know, because most kids aren't ready yet and no. they don't know how to express it and they can't talk to their friends about it. Or their parents. Or their parents. So, yeah, just... Good. Yeah. Good. So this was a good one for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. So. so if you would like a session with me, go to my website, Um uh, I book way out. How long did you have to wait? You know, you did me a huge favor, and I know this is for everybody, but this is your day off, so thank yes. you very much, <laughs> uh, which is fantastic. But yeah, I think you're you're very far out, so definitely get get in there now. Yes, yes. and how <laughs> far did you travel? Uh, I came from Colorado, and my mom is actually coming from uh, Ireland. Mm -hmm. so. so it was a special deal where the mom was only here for a short period of time, so uh, mm. yeah, and I'm ready to travel here in a few days, so my mm. luggage is... Is, is halfway packed. Right. <laughs> anyway, you can see me as I travel. Uh, there is a um, newsletter you can sign up for. Just go to my website, albowyman.com, go to the out of town page, click on uh, the newsletter, and you can get my get on my mailing list to, to find out where I'm going to next. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief little uh, excerpt of, of his session, and I hope I get to see you sometime soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Give me a hug, give me a hug. <laughs> mm.